Here we have the cardboard mock-up of the suspension mount. So this was last up in the car like that. Uh, and here we have the real one for the other side. So that sits like that in that corner of the car. We've moved the we've moved the mounting point from there to there so that it gives a little bit of extra travel in the suspension and then just welded it all around. For now we're just going to put these in as is, but eventually we're going to drill holes here and there roughly to help hold that in on the other side since it's offset from the actual mounting point. So if we walk over here. Here it is mounted up. So we've got the spring on and everything and hopefully soon we'll be able to actually put the car on the suspension once we just get the other side bolted in. So I did have to get bent a little bit to fit properly up against the inside of the wheel well here. And here it is linked up with the Tesla suspension parts. Plenty of clearance between it and the wheel, which is good. So yeah. Here's what that suspension setup looks like without the wheel on. And we'll put, putting the bolts here and there-ish. But for now, we're just going to mount it up as is. We haven't we haven't set preload on the spring or anything because we just want to be able to roll it out so we can work on something else. Here it is, sitting on its suspension. There's just enough clearance that we can roll it out of the shop and roll one of the other cars in for a little bit. We'll have to play with the preload until we get that right. But now it's actually on its suspension for real for the first time, coilovers on all four wheels. Hold on, Nick. You gotta... Oh, we got some time.